All right, and the uh, final section, going off from, uh, so if you remember our last talk, we had we talked about benzene, benzene being uh, aromatic according to the Huckel rule of 4n plus 2, and, uh, and so it's stable. It's stable because it's, it's non-degenerate. But there are degenerate ring systems. For example, uh, we have cyclobutadiene, which looks like this. Just, uh, just a square with two pi bonds. And what happens is, for John Teller distortion, molecules want to stabilize their energy by removing degeneracy. And this changes the bonding and bond lengths. So again, John Teller distortion, the concept of the molecules wanting to stabilize their energy by removing degeneracy, which will change bonding and bond lengths. So, so as you can imagine, cyclobutadiene, it wants to distort. I mean, you can even, without even talking about ring strain, you can, you can just see that this, this is not, it just doesn't look as stable as this, right? You know, there's this, there's a sort of a look about it, you know? So cyclobutadiene distorts away from equal bond lengths in order to remove the generosity to stabilize itself. So you can you can compare the two, you can compare the cyclodiene and, and benzene. This is what its valence electron looked like. Unpaired. And this is benzene. This is not as stable. Benzene is, however, very stable, and there's no bond alteration, which leads to a perfect hexane. So because this is, and also this is non-degenerate, this is degenerate. This doesn't need to distort. There's no distortion that occurs here, so you get a perfectly symmetrical hexane. These bond lengths do not change. They're equal throughout. This, however, this will distort, you know, I'm, I'm just drawing it exaggerated. This will, this will distort. This will be shorter than this or, or reverse, but it will distort. And a final note on these homo lumo assignments. You might be wondering yourself, self, why are insulators good insulators, and why are conductors good conductors? You know, why do they work? And the answer is actually very interesting. If there is a gap between the homo and lumo, there is no electron movement. And if you cannot move electrons, you're an insulator. All right, got a gap, electrons can't flow through, you can't insulate, you can't conduct electrons across. A conductor has no gap, it has no gap between the homo and lumo, therefore you have free electron movement, and like in a metal, for example, you can conduct it very well. All right, guys. We learned about John Teller distortion, explains why benzene's perfectly hexane, or, and uh, why cyclobutadiene, for example, has to distort itself. It wants to lower itself in energy, stabilize it, so it removes its degeneracy, changing bonds lengths and bonding order, and uh, why insulators and conductors are, are what they are. All right, thanks, guys.